Please welcome Marie Palmness. She's from Cancer Biology and her supervisor is Dr. Hans Vogel. Marie's 3MT talk title is The Biology of Ovarian Cancer, The Molecules and the Magic. I could change your life, starting by taking some of your blood. Now you are thinking vampires, but I'm thinking molecules. Something that to me is more exciting than Twilight or even The Bachelorette. Just think of it. Thousands of molecular interactions occurring in our bodies every second making it possible for us to live. Now, don't you just want a pipette? No, that's probably just me, but I do think that we can agree on that the body is pretty magical. But sometimes things go wrong in our body without us understanding why. And when this happens, it is more important than ever that we find out the biological mechanisms of disease. Now, I study the biology of ovarian cancer, and I've come to face that with the magic comes mystery. And in this case, we're desperate to find out the mechanism. Now, my research on ovarian cancer has just begun. But even at its early stages, I found some very exciting results. I have found that women with ovarian cancer have a very distinct molecular profile in their blood when I compare them to healthy participants. A profile that can provide insight to which biological mechanisms that happen in our bodies in presence of these tumors. Next, I want to see how tumors stage and tumor subtype further can alter this profile. Oh, if only vampires were interested in biological research. Imagine the researcher that never ever stopped. But in the meantime, I'll devote my PhD. For example, I can take a blood sample from any one of you here today, spin it in a centrifuge, adjust the pH, add some antimicrobial fluid, let the machine do what it does best, and ask some data processing I have in my hand a list. A list of molecules, and their concentrations. Because you see, the molecules in our blood will represent what we eat and drink, but also what the cells secrete. So this profile will depend on which processes are elevated and also downregulated. But back to your blood sample. With the information I have, I can probably tell your gender, your approximate age, whether my, maybe you like to work out. But these are things that you already know. But what if I can also tell you whether you know you have cancer? Or that the standard treatment will not work for you. It would only make you sicker. But there's an alternative treatment that will work in your case. I can't make you immortal. But maybe I can give you the chance to live. Now, it's not that simple. After all, it's research. It is not magic. But I hope that my research on ovarian cancer will help us detect ovarian tumors at its early stage, so that we don't have to tell the majority of patients that their five-year survival rate is less than 27%. So for the women with ovarian cancer and their future, I say faith, hope, courage, biological research, and a little bit of magic. Thank you very much. Thank you.